Okay, just cut into them. It's been resting for 30 minutes. Look at that smoke ring. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> So not CrossFit here. Um, it's kind of a last minute cooking video, but we are cooking beef ribs on the electric smoker. So what we did, we we got three racks or three slabs of ribs and I put uh, salt, pepper, and uh, seasoning on it. So whatever seasoning you prefer, you know, generously put it on there front and back. And I'm right now I am preheating the electric smoker to 235 degrees. And I've already put my mesquite chips in there and um, some water in a tray so it'll help keep everything real moist. So the next thing you see will be me putting the actual ribs onto the smoker. So this is the uh, seasoning salt that I put on. Um, it's a great brand, they make great stuff. This is the actual salt I put on from Costco, Himalayan Pink Sea Salt. And then um, I just put this already pre-ground black pepper on there. And I also put a thin layer of extra virgin olive oil so that all the seasonings would stick. So that's that's where we're at right now. So once it preheats, we're going to throw them on. You're welcome. Okay, now it's preheated. We're going to put the, rat, the ribs on. Let's see how much smoke's in this bad boy right now. Boom. Smoking. So I'm going to show you a video after I have them on the rack. You're welcome. Okay, they're on the rack now, as you can see. One, two, three. And you want to make sure the membrane down. So there you go. You're welcome. We're gonna do it for three hours like this, three hours. Okay, it's been in for three hours at 235 degrees, and you notice it's kind of, it's real like rubbery. Like, now it's time to get them tender. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take them out and we're gonna take them inside and we're gonna uh, wrap them up in foil and put them back in. So that's the next step, you're welcome. Okay, so to wrap these, um, I got these at Costco actually. They are uh, 10, 10, 10 foil pans. I'm going to put the one slab of ribs in there and the uh, sauce I actually need to put on it. I'm not going to say what it is. Cover your ears. It's apple cider vinegar, soy sauce, and half a stick of butter. And you pour that on top like so. And then you literally cover it up with a piece of tin foil. And this is what the finished product looks like. And then you put that back in for an hour and 45 minutes. And then we're gonna check on it in an hour and 45 minutes and they should be done and then you let them rest. So the next step, <clears throat> put these in the smoker like this, covered up, same temperature, 235 for an hour and 45 minutes. You're welcome. Okay, so we're gonna, same heat, uh, 235, and we're gonna put it in for an hour and 45 minutes. So that's literally, they're on like that. And you can stop putting smoke in right now because they're covered. So they're not going to be smoking anymore. They're just going to be cooking. So I should close my smoke hole up. And yeah, in about an hour and 45 minutes, we're going to check on them and they should be done. So the next thing you see will be uh, hopefully the finished product. You're welcome. Yeah, it's about to go down. Fourth of July cookout. Um, we've got eight lobster tails and we have nine pounds of beef ribs on the smoker. They've been cooking for about four and a half hours. So I guess I'll show you the finished product, but this is the uh, yeah 4th of July celebration. Part of the mess, we're under construction. The wife, the dog, the flooring, this is what the look like, and the TV. You're welcome. Okay, so that's the finished product. Um, hour and 45 minutes in this, and it is gonna literally fall off the bone. Um, we're gonna let it rest for 30 minutes and then we can cut them up. And if you want sauce on it, you can put sauce on it then. But nine pounds of beef ribs. You're welcome. Okay, just cut into them. It's been resting for 30 minutes. Look at that smoke ring. Beautiful, beautiful. And now for the juice test. So juicy. So juicy. You're welcome. Not CrossFit. You're welcome.